guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna to be reviewing a water slide paper, so I'm so excited. So I had this tray that's been sitting around for a while. I sprayed it with this beautiful blush pink. There wasn't really any prep work aside from just cleaning it. And then I sealed the paint with just that clear Rust-Oleum. And we're gonna take some epoxy here. Now I will tell you these trays do take a lot of epoxy, so be prepared for that. This is a glitter that I received as a sample from one of my suppliers, so we're gonna try this out as well. This is just gonna be like a whole sample project here so i'm going to mix a little bit of this glitter into the epoxy i want the bottom part of this tray to have just that little bit of sparkle and i think it'll look really pretty kind of bouncing off of that blush pink so i'm really excited to see the results of this i am using the uh, quick coat epoxy that i will have linked down below for you and i'm not putting too much glitter in as you can see like I said, I just kind of want like a subtle glitter. I don't, I don't want it too overpowering, if that makes sense. So we're just going to mix that in really well. And then we're going to pour it into the bottom of the tray. So having done some trays before, I will tell you, the one thing you really want to be careful about is when you're kind of tilting your tray back and forth to kind of get that epoxy to spread smoothly, you want to be very careful to not get it on the inner part of the tray where it goes up on the sides there because it will dry like that and it will look funny if that makes sense. I know that's kind of hard to visualize if you haven't done it before, but just be really careful to avoid getting it up on the sides. You could put tape if you wanted. I don't. Don't ask me why. I just don't. <laughs> so um, we're just going to dump it all over and then I will hit it with a heat gun. And what that does, aside from popping bubbles, is it's going to heat that epoxy up a little bit and make it a little bit easier to just kind of move around and maneuver. And then we're just going to get it to where it's nice and even on the bottom. And then let this sit overnight completely before we get our water slide on there. But isn't that, oh my gosh, look at that glitter, you guys. Look how it just reflects off of that blush pink. Oh, it's so pretty.
Okay, here's our tray, excuse me, all nice and dry. And I have our little bowl of water here and our water slide. So this is the Hippo water slide. I did seal it three times with my Rust-Oleum, two times ultra clear, the same spray that I use for all my water slides. Up until now, I have been using the Haze water slide, which had always worked great, but for some reason I've had some issues lately. So I was really excited to give this one a try. My water is like borderline lukewarm room temperature, not cold, not hot, just kind of right in the middle. And I'm going to soak it for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then same thing applies, get your surface wet. So I'm just getting this wet right here in the middle. It makes it easier to maneuver your water slide around a little bit. All right, so when the image starts to slide off the paper a little bit, you'll know that it's ready. And this water slide paper was very easy to work with. I was very pleased and I can probably confidently say I will be using this one um, for the foreseeable future because it was just really easy to work with. There wasn't any tears or ripping or the ink um, kind of coming off. It was just, it was a really good paper. So I'm really glad, like I said, I got the chance to give this a try. And I'm just going to get that silicone brush, same thing we do with all the, the water slides. Make sure you get any little air bubbles, water bubbles out of the middle there. And then I usually just get a paper towel or just any kind of clean cloth and just dab any excess water that we have. And I let this dry for probably an hour or so just to make sure that it was fully dry. And then um, we'll move to that next step. All right, so here it is so far, and as pretty as it is, I thought it needed just a little something extra. So I'm going to take just a fine tip paintbrush, and I'm painting some Mod Podge on here, and I'm gonna add some gold leaf flakes, because I thought that would be just a nice accent to have on the, the board here, not the board, the tray. Whew, guys, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna get it here. I did see somewhere, I think it was a TikTok, if you use a glue stick, it's much easier. And now that she said that, I was like, oh, like the light bulb went off in my head. So I'm definitely gonna have to give that a try next time, but I wanted to tell you guys, so maybe that will work better for you. Um, because as you know, if you've worked with Mod Podge, it's your best friend and your worst enemy all at the same time. So <laughs> anyways, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put flakes kind of just randomly. I started with lines, um, not so much geode look, but just kind of squiggled lines. And then I kind of just move them to like sporadic spots and just kind of play around with it, get it to where you want. Um, and then we'll be ready for our final coat of epoxy. All right, so we got those on there. You do want to make sure that glue dries 100% because if it doesn't, you will see it under the epoxy. So 
make sure you wait until you know for sure it's dry. And then we're going to use a, another big old cup here of epoxy. This is probably, if I had to guess, about 200 milliliters of epoxy to go into this final coat. And I did the same thing. I'll heat it up with a heat gun and kind of move it around and maneuver it just until I get enough coverage all along the bottom there. Um, something that will help is you want to make sure all those gold leaf flakes are laid flat if they are sticking up. Obviously, they will stick up um, under that epoxy. So I did make sure that those were flat and that made this last step a lot easier. So, and then that's it. Super easy, but like how fun is this? Like as much as we love cups, I think for me anyways, it's kind of fun to just change it up once in a while and, you know, get your creative outlet out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will link all the products I used here down below. If you have any questions, as always, reach out, let me know, and I'd be happy to answer anything. And don't forget to join us over on Facebook, Carly's Creations, Tumblers, and more. We'd love to have you over there. It's a fun group and just a bunch of wonderful people. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.